child care centers around Ohio could see some relief from a new license that gives providers more money. As Alexa Helwig tells us, it has the potential to expand so school-age kids learning remotely have a place to go. The school year is starting remotely for many students. That's why the YMCA now offers all-day child care for school-aged kids. But Trish Kitchell says the organization wasn't getting funding. During that remote learning period in the in the laws, it was stated that um, those children would not be covered um, for that period of time for child care reimbursement. Governor Mike DeWine announced this week that's changing. A temporary pandemic license will help organizations like the Y. It allowed us to, to fund those children that are on child care subsidies for the entire school day where before it was only the before and after school hours that um, we were going to be reimbursed for from the state. So Governor DeWine says more than 30 percent of school districts in the state are opting for remote and hybrid learning models. The temporary license also makes it easier for daycares to expand. We can identify other um, locations within our service areas, let's say a church or another um, community-based location, we can apply more quickly for licenses in order to serve kids at those spaces. The YMCA cares for about 200 school-aged kids during the week. Most are CPS students. Kitchell says they want to expand but don't have the workforce to support it. So we ha currently have 77 lo uh, positions open within our organization to serve these kids. We can only serve the number of kids we have staff for. The Ohio Department of Job and Family Services put this in place to make sure students have a safe place to study while learning remotely. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. The temporary pandemic license also reduces regulations that organizations have to abide by to become licensed.